um, what can what else can interfere with the thyroid hormone and how this can affect heart failure and high blood pressure? Um, the uh, polyunsaturated fats and stress are uh, probably the most common things throughout uh, Western uh, diet culture, but um, traditionally the cabbage family and beans uh, were the main uh, goitrogens, things that interfere with formation of the thyroid hormone. And uh, in the Andes and uh, parts of southern Mexico and uh, western China, uh, there's still a tremendous amount of, of uh, thyroid deficiency and, and uh, cretinism. Uh, I've read that there are... Uh, um, I think it was a hundred million Cretans in Western China, uh, and uh, beans are a major uh, factor in in uh, the Andes and Mexico, and I, I think in China too. Uh, besides an actual iodine deficiency, but um, the the, um, the cabbage family, especially if they aren't cooked well, so the coleslaw. Uh, if a person ate, ate coleslaw every day, they would very uh, likely have a, a thyroid problem. And what about poor protein intake? Does that influence the thyroid hormone? Um, yeah. In uh, the 1940s, uh, studies were done showing uh, that they saw that uh, people in the concentration camps, uh, men who came out and started eating well, uh, would often grow breasts. And they saw that uh, the starvation for protein in particular uh, causes the liver to become unable to uh, destroy estrogen, uh, and thyroid is needed uh, to um, in- inactivate estrogen. And if you're uh, getting low calories, but especially low thyroid, you turn your metabolism down so that you don't eat up the proteins in your muscles so fast. Uh, so just a fairly slight protein deficiency will cause your thyroid to slow down defensively. And that means that your liver is uh, leaving more estrogen in circulation. And then estrogen blocks the enzymes which attach iodine uh, to the protein to make the thyroid hormone. So, uh, just stress or a protein deficiency will let estrogen rise and the rising estrogen will block the secretion from your thyroid, uh, creating a vicious circle. But then when they came out and started eating well, their livers were damaged so severely that their estrogen was really high. Um, yeah, it, and animal studies showed that uh, the vitamins B1 and B2 as well as uh, protein were the, the main things that uh, activate the liver to inactivate uh, estrogen. And one of the one of the best sources for B vitamins is liver. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>